Okay, so in this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, showing an argument is invalid. So we will first write some simple notes regarding that. So let me write a note. Suppose P1, P2, Pn give you the conclusion C is an argument. This, then this means P1 and P2 and p3 dot 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 and pn implication c is a tautology which means if P1 is true, P2 is true, Pn is true, then true and true and true dot 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 and to all a T, okay, will give you what? This will give you T, that is. Conclusion is true. Okay, so all are T's, then the conclusion is also T. Now, this simple note will help us in solving the problems of invalidity. Let's take one simple exercise now. Show that. P or Q comma P conclusion negation Q is invalid argument. Solution. Now Suppose I don't tell you this. Suppose I hide this data from you. Okay, and if I just ask you a question that check. Is this argument valid? Then what we usually do is we write down the argument. The argument is P or Q comma p and then you try to simplify this now what is p or q p or q means negation of negation p or q which means negation p implies q correct this is equivalent to saying negation p so I'll write it as negation p implies q and p if i use a contrapositive I'm going to get negation Q implies negation of negation B is P and P. Okay. And uh, here I understand that this cannot be simplified by any rule because this is not even modest ponens. This is neither fitting into modest tolerance. Okay. And you will not be able to proceed after this step. So you come and stop here. You cannot proceed, right? So this is the first indication that this particular argument might be invalid. OK, so this means that only these two simple arguments are not giving you any. Confirm conclusion rather it is not giving you negation Q according to your laws, right? 
so now if i'm now here st if i've stopped here this means that i should now go to my two tables and check some calculations so i will go to my truth table now what what will i do using the truth table so i will take this argument which is pretty simple the original argument itself is very simple right so we will not make it complicated by using different different laws so p or q and p are very simple right so let's simply prepare a table of p and p or q whatever the arguments are there we will prepare those important columns okay so we have p and we have q and we have p or q so it is tt tf ft ff p or q is true 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 and false right let us look at the conclusion who is the conclusion negation q let me prepare negation q negation q will be q is true so it is false true false true okay now what i will do is i will look at the important columns who are the important columns that i told you p or q and p in these four columns which column is not important which column is not required p or q is important p is important negation q is conclusion that is important so i will not need the column of q so i will erase the column of q for the time being because i really don't need it and this is these two this is in the argument these two are assumptions and this is what this is the conclusion correct now try to find out those rows in the given assumptions where both are true where both are true so are there any rows where both are true you'll see that this is true this is also true second row also has this is also true and this is also true this is false true so i will not look at it this is false false i will not look at it so which rows am i going to look i'm going to look all those rows where both of them are true suppose there are three people if all the three are true like this and then i will look for the conclusion so this row one row one tells me that true and true is false second row tells me true and true is true but this cannot happen right because in the previous note we have seen that if you have true and true and true and true the answer must be what the conjunction of all truths is true but here in this problem what i got from the first row is what i really not liking right it's not a good thing that true and true has become false which is not possible therefore this argument is so which which row is pro a problematic row by row 1 right this argument is not valid by row 1 okay let us check the validity of the argument q p implies q conclusion is p 
So now, if you look at this problem, Q and P implies Q, you cannot further simplify. Cannot simplify by either modus ponens or modus tollens. Okay, so it means. I have to stop at this stage. I cannot proceed by any law. Even if I try to play with these, you will not get something different. You will come up to the stage that this thing cannot be simplified and you cannot conclude that it is surely coming up to be what? It is surely coming up to be P. So in that case, what I will do, I will take the help of truth tables again. So I will say P, Q, P implies Q. These are the things needed to me. Okay, and what is the conclusion? The conclusion is again P. So these three things I will prepare. So true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. P implies Q is true, false, true, and true. And what is P? P is I will write the column of P again. True true false false out of these three columns only the second and the third column are important for me so i will remove this column i will not pay attention to that column these are the two assumptions and this is the conclusion i will now look for all those rows in the assumptions don't look at this conclusion okay i will now look at only this particular data i will now look at all the rows in the assumptions which have both true which have both true so i understand that here i have a true here also i have a true then i have third row is also there this is true this is true but what is the conclusion of row one so row one is saying true and true is true but row three is saying true and true is false which is not correct therefore we get false in row 3 therefore this argument is what this argument is invalid